Here's tonight, the cutest teeny in the whole wide world. He's the cutest guy in the whole wide world. He's covered in sap from hanging out outside a nut house. But that will come off. Maybe we'll get a bath. You're covered in sap. You are. You're just the cutest guy. He's getting over. I used to every time he saw me, he would pee. But we're getting over that. But he just saw chaos and peed a little. He's a very timid guy, but he's a very good boy. He's the cutest too. My favorite little smoke poke. Good girl sizzle. He was the weighs the most too, I think I was told. 83 or 86. The biggest one. And Abby's only 64 or something. A lot smaller. He's a big chunky little man. He's a good boy. Smoke poke poke. What a pop pop. Smokey. What are you doing? Don't crouch around. It's not that scary. Gelato's jealous that you're so cute. He is. He's a very good boy out in vest. He is. He's just nervous. Don't pee. You're good. You're good. You got a very big belly. Maybe that's where all your weight hides. He's like stocky. Yeah, he's 83 pounds. Yeah. The rest big. of them are like 60 and 70. Yeah. But maybe it's that big belly. Big boy. The big, you can get up there, good boy. You can sit up on that bed. Cute little guy. Okay. Today was a very nice day. Very warm and sunny. Lots of dogs got out to play, and lots of people did nice raking and yard work and stuff. It was a good day. Um, Kanga was great. She was the best one today. You're a good boy. She surprised me. We went to Market Basket, and she did a lot better than I thought she would. Um, she likes to sniff a lot, but we worked on that. Her pace was great. Um, the only thing we have to work on is her down. So if we do a fall, ask her lay down. She just kept trying to lick my face but she looked she looked like a lizard she just kept going and I was like you're gonna lie down she just kept doing that so eventually she did it but we'll have to work on that um but she was a really good girl she and she's not a huge fan of getting in the car but she's definitely getting better um what else rabbit was really good today too um we went to Crosby's and then did the stairs outside she was just very jumpy with loud noises and a little funky with the meat coolers but there's a, it's a very common thing, the meat coolers, the blowing and the noise. And some of them have the reflection on top, which can be a little freaky to them. Um, then Jagger and I we went to Georgetown and did the stairs. It was nice enough, so I did a lot of outside, hi, outside stuff today. Um, he was great with the traffic and everything. He didn't care. We sat down on the ground and we're watching, and he's like putting his paw on me like, all right, what's next? I'm bored with this. Um, but he's a good boy. And then Pluto, we went to TJ Maxx. She did really well. Um, a few people had told me she pulls a lot, but no, leave it, good boy. Um, she tried to pull a little, but after a few corrections, she was great. She's another kind of nervous girl. Um, oh, you're going to sit? Is it so hard carrying your big body around? Huh? Is it tough to be you? Do you want to move? Can I move this so the camera can see you? You cute bum. Oh, good boy. Now they can see you. You good boy. Um, and then who else? Oreo. We went to Georgetown too. Um, it was a nice day, so I was excited to be outside. Um, he did great. He was a little nervous um, with the traffic, um, but he did well. What else did we see? Yeah, he did really good. He was a little, at first he was, uh, didn't know what to do, but then he calmed down and did well. He's tries, he acts like he's a tough guy, but he's kind of a big scary cat. He's not a big fan of shopping carts either. Um, he's gotten better, but he doesn't love it. He does not love it. Um, what else, who else do we do? Rue, she was great. She's a really good girl. She's funny. She's very cute. She looks at you with those big eyes and she's just very sweet. She hung out with Tigger today. They had fun together. Um, Hello, Poke Poke. Oh, look, it's another friend. It's your other friend. He's covered in sap. Yeah. It's grossness. He's a good boy, though. He's good. He's good. You're slobbering your cookie crumbs everywhere. Smoke, smoke. Poke, poke. Smokey, smokey. Oh, he's good. You have to stay in here all night. Yeah, you do. Um, what else? Um, why was summer in the house? Um, we are putting a new dog in here at 7 a.m. and a new one at 5 p.m. So one for the daytime and one for the nighttime just to get used to being in the house. She was a good girl. It took her a while to settle, but she was funny. She did not catch on that Bentley didn't want her in her face, though. <laughs> I don't know if she did by the end of the day, but earlier she had not caught on yet. So 
Holy smokes, yes, Smokey's big boy. Smokey? I'm glad we're friends now. We weren't friends for a while, so this is good. Um, what else? So yeah, there'll be a new teeny or comet or cone, whoever in here. Someone who Bentley will be nice to. So we a younger one. Right, buddy? Um, what else? The tail girls, their tails are doing a little bit better today. Um, Penny went with Diane tonight. She's going to take Mr. Mac tomorrow night. Um, what else? What else can I tell ya? Um, you're a good boy. You can wander around. He doesn't know what to do. You're a good boy. He's funny. Yeah, the teenies are a good group. Him and, um, Abby are probably my favorites. She's just very go with the flow. There's a few of them that are very timid. Um, Summer's a little cray cray. Um, but she'll figure it out. Um, who else is there? Tito's really cute. He's a good boy. Um, they're a good group. They're good. Yeah, they're all pretty good so far. They're going to start, um, Abby and Gimlet went out with Jackie and Amy last week and they said she did great. So they'll start going out with them some more. Um, what else? What else? What else? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Rue was funny today. Um, she was in a downstairs and she was shaking. And someone came over and she was like, is she cold? And I was like, no. Sometimes when they want to get up, their body just internalizes it and they shake. And she's like, no, I think she's scared. I'm like, no, she's that's that's just what happens. Sometimes they just shake for no reason. And they're not scared. They're not cold. And she was like, oh, okay. Um, but it was funny. Any questions for me? Hopefully we keep this nice weather. Um, Walter's feeling better. He wasn't feeling good yesterday. Um, he went to the vet, but he's doing better today, so it's good. It's good, good, good. So, boy, Smoke, you can walk around. He's so funny. <laughs> he, like, doesn't know, can I go in there? Chaos made him pee, so he was a little freaked out. But he's cute. <laughs> like Caleb. Like, He's so big. I know. Think Shayna, did you say he weighs 83? 83 pounds. Probably more than that now. It's a big belly. <laughs> He's so cute. He's the cutest. I know it's very scary. <laughs> I'm gonna shut the mic off while I go grab her. One second. Oh, one question. Is Magnus doing okay? Yes, Magnus is doing okay. Now it's Walter's turn to not feel good. So, but he's definitely better today. Um, he's definitely a lot better today. I texted Meg Megan's mom if she needed anything. Um, but he's better. They started him on Doxy. Um, that helped. So I don't know what was what they thought it was, um, but he had a temperature and he was struggling to walk and everything. So, but he's definitely better today. So, but yeah, it went for Magnus. Now it's Walter. Um, you still smoke is solid. Um, Smokey's a good boy. Yeah, he's a little timid, but he's a really good boy. He just goes with the flow. Um, Sophia stays home randomly. Yeah, my mom will. My mom walks her a lot, so she'll stay home randomly. All right, I'm gonna shut this down.
Steve is going to get the mail. Or maybe. And we have Smokey with us this morning, evening. And since I have Smokey, I have to put that in. Okay. And this is the sixth, and at night I have Smokey. <laughs> he, uh, he's cautious. Okay. We lost half the party. Well, I'll go do this. Why well, was Summer in the house? Okay. We are now trying to have in a when they come in in the morning to check in, they drop me off a dog at the seven o'clock in the morning, and they take home, they take back to the kennel the one who's been here since five o'clock the night before. So in other words, we're swapping dogs at 5 p.m. and 7 a.m. So that more dogs are getting to spend time in the house and enjoy the company of chaos and sizzle who boss them around. That's a big dog. That's a big dog. So the big debate of today was what happened to the apple cider? That's our big mystery of the day. I bought two cases of apple cider for Linda, two boxes of it. She got three cups of it and the rest is missing. Because so either we're drinking an awful lot of apple cider all at once. I don't know what else could have happened to it. There are a lot of people come and go out of here, that's for sure. But I don't know. That's an awful lot of apple cider to be gone. Oh, we got nine, nine things. Nine, nine things. He is solid like, is he solid like George? He's more solid than George. George is more long-legged. I asked a question that got lost in space. What question did you ask? Oh. I don't know as we have a solid adult dog that's the same type as these, the latest, what, 19 dogs or whatever they are. There are a bunch of them. They're pretty damned. Front legs are, woof. Fence posts. We will hope Steve comes back soon. Because I've already been sampling supper. <laughs> it's about time he went back to the kennel, isn't it? Oh. That one. Smokey? That one. Oh, gelato. Well, I don't know. It's only been two days. He's a boy. Well, tomorrow maybe. Friday. It's only been one day. Really? It was, it was done yesterday? yesterday? Afternoon. Really? Yeah. It's full of hell. <laughs> he is. He recovered quite quickly. Well, we don't want him to recover so quickly that he tears a vein loose or something. Yep. It fills up with blood because they look pretty strange.
I can hear those feet. Pat, pat, it's pat. Claws, huh? That's a big dog. Yeah, who's from Claws? He's a big dog. He's a good boy. He's also my litter. Are you a good boy? You got a big tummy too. You know, stay away from him because he's bad. I searched for the cider too. I didn't find any. You didn't find it, right? Nope, I didn't. You must have looked good. So who's coming tomorrow? Some friends of yours? Yep, some friends of mine are coming. They've never been. Can you believe that's four times I've punched it on the same place? Really? If I was trying to do that, I wouldn't do it. Here comes Steve with a big box. <laughs> there we go. Help him on the way. Do you have any mail mail? It's coming. It's coming. Oh, okay. Come on, step it up. <laughs> Gwen made me buy this. I she said everybody has them. And you're going to use it? I don't know, but I'm, maybe somebody will. She said it's the only one you need. You don't need any more pots at all. It's a pressure pot, a pressure pot and a frying pan and everything. Come here, Smoke. Oh. Here he comes. Now he's got the mail. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? There you go. There's that wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Stephen. Well. Are you tired? Yes. You sound pretty. Registry of motor vehicles. Oh, I bet that's my trailer plate. No, it can't be. I need oh, I was the plate. Say throw it away, but better not. National Organization okay. for this Women. We better have that. Keep coming out. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we'll open it now. What? Did he go out? You got it. Huh? This one went out. What happened to Smokey? He's in the kitchen area. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not going to worry about my reproductive rights <laughs> or my organization for women. We get rid of that problem. Okay. And this is for all the people that are here today. Whoop, stay there. Okay, so we are Linda McCoy, Livermore, California. Oh. There we go. There we go. Where is she from? What in California? Livermore. Livermore. Thank you guys for all you do. There you go. Oh, thank you. The smoke. Oh, oh that nice. That's for the fun fun. Oh shit. Okay. There we go. And for the swear there. Huh? I said in one for the swear bear. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Betty Crocker. Oh, smoking. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll put those there because the desk is getting so messy I can't do anything else about it. Here you go. And that's a handwritten note. And we have Jan Gerhold, mailed on the third. And that's from her. Oh. Carlene, think these poo pickers will still work okay with the type sayings? Much easier to read, right? Well, that's certainly true. Judge Judy, it's always a mistake when you get caught. Now, that's pretty good. 
Snapple real fact. You burn about 20 calories per hour chewing gum. <laughs> well, I wonder, it, is that more than just plain living in general? Bizarre lawyer. Were you alone or by yourself? Well, that's pretty good. Okay. They're easier for me to read, easier for anybody to read when they're using them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, now what? Now what? Now what did I do? Oh, medical affairs branch. Oh, I got my new, my new thing. My new parking thing. Thank heavens. Security sleeve. Where do I put the security? Huh? What on earth? You hang it in the window. Please find your security sleeve. It's designed to slip over your picture on the placard. The purpose is to conceal your personal information if you so choose. Oh, that's your handicap sticker? Yeah. But it says it covers up my picture. It says I'm Carleen White. In case I don't want anybody to know that. You know? Mm -hmm. Security sleeve. I, I really don't need the security sleeve. Huh. Huh. Okay, well that's wonderful to get that back again because I was having troubles. Oh, well, here we go. Do not drive while your disabled placard is hung from your rear view mirror. Where are you supposed to put it? Well, you're supposed to put it when you park, but not drive with it. Oh. Do not use your disabled parking or use your parking privilege if you are not entering or exiting the vehicle. I see. Oh, it's fifty dollar fine if it's if it's hanging there. Really? Do not leave your disabled placard in an unlocked vehicle. Wow, I've got a problem. I got a couple problems there that I probably mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll try and pay attention. I do know that people steal them. I was witnessing somebody just stole mine. Here we go. Wahine, somebody or other. Deer Park, New York. What's in there down, Smokey? Mm. Relax, dog. Be a big boy, huh? See, that's why I need to have them in here. Oh, look. <laughs> We have some dental picks. Oh boy. I was I was gonna try doing his toes, but they, you know, I just mm, they don't have the right angle. Well, let's try. Somebody else's feet. Okay, next problem. Bentley's gonna have his done officially. Yeah. Lila May asked if he got his blood work back yet. What? Did he get his lab work back, back yet? Oh. Bentley. For his teeth clean. I, I don't think he... We didn't get it back. I didn't really ask for it. Oh my word, what is this? Whoa! Okay, who sent this one? Wow. Oh, got some fancy things here. You says. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Riz did this. What did Riz did? Get out of here. I can't find it. Nothing. Will you go away? Excuse me, those aren't hey, sizzle. Those aren't biscuits, baby. Where does it say where it's supposed to go? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kiss. Holy fuck. Ah! 
This is from Riz. Woodbridge, Virginia. Oh, Riz. Wow. Huh. Okay. Oh, she does these. I'll figure it out eventually here. She makes it? I think so. The pink vest wasn't sturdy enough for me, so I'm returning it so you can give it to somebody else. Wasn't that wonderful? Smoky. Huh. Smoke. Where does that come from? I've, I've kind of gotten... I hope we gave you a regular vest to use. The 24 hour kind. I'll put a pin in there. Huh. Well, that interesting. Okay, well, we'll figure something out to do with that. This is from Heidi, who has Riz. Oh, there we go. There's a letter in the bottom here. Get out of here. Hope you're having a well-deserved vacation. That's what Megan, I guess. Riz has settled in well and is turning into a perfect partner for me. I made the service indoor training for you and the mm -hmm. service dog slides so that next veteran that can get a dog. Let me know if these are how you want them. If you want modifiers before I make the next ones. If other trainers like them, I could make them also. Heidi. Huh, okay. I think... Wow. Those are impressive. Okay, we'll put that all back in here because apparently... It never said, never said Megan on the front, but it apparently it was for Megan. Whatever. We'll put that someplace up there for Megan. Put your name on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's upside down. Okay, now what have we got? Now what have we here? Right hmm. Oh. Here we go. Read the instruction. These gifts from K. Aha. Enjoy your math gift. Okay. Okay, well, we'll figure out what we got here. Who is it from? K. Was it K? K booze? There you go. Uh, the math thing. I teach math. What's your superpower? <laughs> That's cute. Very nice. A mug. And what are these? Okay, that's the Pythagorean theorem, or something like that. I don't know where um, 
Linda might like that. You know? Mm -hmm. For for monkey fist? Both. I thought those were both for Linda. Smoky. Too cute. This is a thing. This is like that hippo birdies two use. Oh yeah, yeah. Because even two cube. Two cube, sum, pi. That's a summation sign. Sum, that's pi. Square root of. You are the mathematician. Square root of negative one. I don't think that that's a very nice thing to have to have. <laughs> Impossible to. Something about two U's, some pie. There, you can have that. Yeah, yeah. And you can go to Linda. You're going to save those to give to Linda somehow? Yep. She's, she's, oh, oh. she likes those, I think. Uh, oh. 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 And we have Amazon. You see, my daughter was here. We got to play it on Amazon, so I kind of bought some things. At her encouragement, that could be a problem. It seems to me we bought two things. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. This is the basket that goes with that. Ah. This is for her. What is it? Robert's Rules of Order. <laughs> Would you believe she didn't? She never heard that expression before. Really? She's heard it. She said she knows them, but she never heard it referred to as Robert's Rules of Order. Could you not? That's amazing. So I bought her the book so she could have it. <laughs> and this is the bucket that goes inside the other thing she made me buy. I'll leave it in there. And this is an instant pot or something. Instant pot? Nothing over that. You're scared him. Bubble wrap. You're scaring him. Sorry there, big boy. I'm not sure I'm going to pull this out of here. It's a pan. It's a fry. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slow cooker type crock pot, crock potty sort of thing. But she says it's a new version, and everybody has them. Oh, is that the ear pot? The ear? I don't know what it is. Ten in one multi-use programmable oh, pressure, pressure cooker. cooker. Oh. I do like pressure cookers. My mother used pressure cookers, so I'm really kind of used to them. That barely leaves the directions on it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And that's the pot that goes with it. I did. I don't have anything left. Except a very messy desk. <laughs> oh, God. oh Lord love a duck. Square root of negative one. Huh. Huh. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't do that. It don't let me do it. All right, Joan CP says, I ate some pie, S-U-M. What is it? I ate some pie. Pie? I ate, and S-U-M, that's a sum sign. Yeah, pie. so this is two cubed to be eight. So I, well, I, I, I thought ate. it was two cubed. 
Yeah, okay. So that that negative one? Bentley. No, Smokey. You're gonna get oh, no God. Bentley nice, Bentley, Bentley nice. I'll see Bentley. why does my computer not all work right, at smoke. all? Come on, get out of there. Good boy, Benny. Good boy. Good boy. So did you figure it yet? Uh, I don't I don't know what the square is. I think that's sort of impossible, but I don't Good remember. Boy, Jesus, I I can't type it in because my keyboard is so covered up well, with it. Uncover it! I can't get the tattoo in there. Put the stuff on the table and uncover no. it. No. It'll take me half an hour to clean off my desk to be able to use the keyboard. Okay. Well, because I was working on this. That's what I was working on uh -huh. earlier. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. No. What is the S Q U A R E? R O T. Yes, oh, he is a very handsome minus boy. one. He's going to be a big boy. Oh, I spelled a few things wrong, but. One. The square root in mathematics. The factor of the number that when multiplied by itself gives the original number. <laughs> yeah, but the negative. I don't know. That must be, an, that's got to be a, a letter. I ate some. That would be, that would be acceptable. But I don't know. I. I don't know what you multiply by itself to get a negative number. Am I right? So negative one times negative one is positive one. Two negatives make a positive. But somehow that's... So what do you multiply by itself to make a negative? But that, it's not multiplying, it's being divided by. No, no, that's not a division. That's a square root sign. Oh, that's right. That's a square root. Okay. So Not square, the square it, root. The thing inside, I mean, if it were four in there, the answer would be two. If it was a negative four, I don't know what it would be. Because you couldn't multiply something by itself to get a negative. You get a negative when you multiply a positive times a negative. So they're not, so that's impossible? Maybe that's where they get the I. I. I ate some pie. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, a positive, you know, I don't know, it must be. Search, must we'll search be. the whole thing after and look at well, it. Somebody will tell me in a minute. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. We must be more mathematician on here than me. I'm not very good at it anymore. Can't remember nothing. Maybe somebody's answered it already. Imaginary. See, there you are. That's the I. Oh, so I is for imaginary. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow at exactly 1 p.m., Crazy Acres all around will be raising a glass in honor of Awesome Annie. <clears throat> huh. It was set up by Tina and AJ. Okay. AJ started a random act of kindness in Annie's name. What's this? AJ started a random act of kindness in Annie's name. Oh, good. And um, just doing something for somebody else. And, oh. You know, okay. Nice, nice things to do. Certainly. Why not? So, Joan, yeah, square root of negative one is considered imaginary. It's a good thing you're here tonight, Joan. Thank you. Well, see, I see, I didn't know what it was, so I was right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at it that way. Because nobody else knows what it is either. The chewy box next to you, we have to open. We were supposed to open that yesterday. 
Oh, okay. I thought I the thought dog opened it today. Oh, okay. All right. So let's open that. Too. So it has to go to May. No, no, Smokey, leave those alone, buddy. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Don't tell me. And I've got nothing left. <laughs> it's a long day you put in. Yes, it was. Long day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Well, who we got it from here? Laura. Laura Haran. That's the one. Laura. Wonderful. We have. Thank you, Laura. We have cookies. That'll keep everybody busy tomorrow. Because we'll give everybody to give the dog tomorrow. Right. Is that a good thing? I think we're going to have a lot of people here tomorrow. We could. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of boxes of cookies. <laughs> so I hope you, if you're listening and you're coming tomorrow, maybe we might need some extra food <laughs> and desserts. We might need some extra desserts. Well, um, Mark's going to cook, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay, so we got a lot of cookies. They're really good cookies, too. Yeah. Did you want another cookie? I get you. Did you want a cookie? Robin, Rob from New Jersey says there's way too much negativity in math. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Thank you. That's good. I like that. Thank you, Laura. Holly is also given an explanation here. Captain B and James Slayton, Slayton and a whole bunch of people. <laughs> oh, everybody telling us? Mm hmm. Auntie says Smokey would love to have a toy, maybe. What? He, there are toys around for him. He's just choosing to kind of. Well, he hasn't been curious. around. He's had toys before, but he hasn't had us to play with. He's curious. That's why we're bringing him up here. All right, Debbie says too an imaginary, imaginary I, imaginary number I. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Deb. As opposed says, to one divided by zero. <laughs> which is infinity. That's a very big number. Well, Dora says, I imagine that's why I was so pitiful in ma at math in school. <laughs> you and me both. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And D3802 says, heavens do I dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think we're going to have a busy day tomorrow, and it's going to be a good day. Weather-wise, it's supposed to be beautiful, and um, we have lots of this will be lots of people coming to recognize Annie. And it's Chicken Day too, and we sold out, right? We sold out. Awesome. We sold out. Yep. Fabulous. Fabulous is right. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Oh, I don't know why I remember that. I guess I was thinking of purple eggs. I brought there's a dozen eggs in the fridge I brought up from the coop. So we I, we gotta figure out what to do with those eggs. We we not use them. Well, I brought some up for you, and then I brought a dozen to school to the kitchen lady. Oh, did you? Yeah, and uh, so are they clean? No, they're still clean. Oh, okay. She's a kitchen lady. She knows how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a special preparation for washing the eggs, and I had a gallon of it. Oh, really? I don't know. We use a, a very diluted bleach solution and you just then rinse them off and they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, what, what was the um, solution? A special egg washing solution. But I mean, what was in it? Do you remember? Powder. White powder. <laughs> White powder. White powder. Okay. <laughs> that's helpful. It's just one more thing that's disappeared around here. You know, we have we have a very serious problem of <coughs> stuff. Somebody doesn't know what it's for, and doesn't know what it, you know. They just throw it out. It's old. It's been around too long. And out it goes. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about it, but it gets to be serious well, after we, a while. We need to use it up, huh? We need to use it up. Yeah. Well, I mean, the last thing that that is missing is all the cider that I bought for Linda. I didn't. Um, mm -hmm. I bought cider, two, two boxes of it for Linda, because she loves it's it. It's not out back? No. It was in here for a while. She had three cups of it, and then the rest of it's gone. Yeah. Not that many people, 
Not that many people drink it. I don't know. At least I haven't found anybody yet. Maybe I haven't found the right smoke? people. <coughs> but, it, you know, I, I can see an awful lot goes... Well, the other thing that came to mind was I keep buying yellow pads to work with, to write on in the car, because I like to sit in the car and sleep, you know, and do homework. And um, they're gone. Well, an awful lot of them, some, a mouse kind of made a nest on top of it. I can see where somebody might have... But I bought out. more than that, you know, and it just, it's well, just infuriating. I was, I was going to suggest, but then I thought better of it to maybe clear a spot in one of your drawers and keep them in your desk. <laughs> no. What was I thinking? <laughs> what was you thinking? <laughs> what was you thinking? Anyway, Laura Huron, or Blue Penguin says, Laura Huron is officially home and recovering from her big back surgery. Wonderful. So, hope you're doing well, Laura, and thank you so much for always supporting us. You're awesome. You feel better. What are you doing? That's all right. Let him open the, the other one opened the other end of it here. James Sladen wants to know how did cleanup go? Amazing. Was it? Oh, look. I didn't go we got a we got a lot done. I went out today. this morning and then I got tired. <laughs> we got a lot done today. Good. A lot done. Victoria C P says Easter egg hunt cometh. <laughs> That's what we should do an Easter egg hunt. Go ahead. <laughs> <coughs> we got no grass to hide it. <laughs> None. It'll come, don't worry. I hope. Jim I... Joan wants to know, was Linda able to find out if you got the Amazon Smile donation? I don't think I asked her that. Send an email and I'll run it by her again. Brenda from Ontario says, maybe use some fun, fun money to buy a vault for the stuff that goes missing. <laughs> Yeah, there's, so, a good hiding place. there's a lot of stuff. Well, we get so much stuff that, you know, it begins to pile up. <laughs> Joan, who, who figured out the imaginary number, says maybe the apple cider was imaginary. No, it was not imaginary. <laughs> Blue Penguin says she wonders if Princess Chaos may have tampered with it to punish Linda. Anyway. He's working on it here. What do we got? Um, nothing. What are you talking to people and not telling me? No, no, I'm, I'm posting the um, the names from the mail. Oh. Um, any other questions or comments or anything? Or? It's nice. Smokey, Benny, and good Smokey. boy. Oh, you're a very good boy. Yeah. Good boy, Benny. He's not thrilled. I know. Smokey, you're going to learn, buddy. Benny, good, Benny. good boy. That's a good boy. The nose was curled up to about here. But <laughs> but, he, but, he, but he controlled. He was good. <clears throat> um, Lila May wants to know if Mo is back to eating those alfalfa cubes. I think that's what it was. I don't know. Are we still giving her those? No. No? I guess we're not giving her those anymore. And Doris, perhaps the younger volunteers have been enjoying the cider since they probably don't drink coffee. I don't know. I'm not around during the week. I don't know. <coughs> Michelle Mitchell wants to know if we're doing anything in memory of Annie tomorrow on a cam with sound. Yeah. Not well. We'll, we'll be, try. Yeah, we'll be near the um, the Puppy Hill Puppy Hill camera, and Mark's going to have a microphone, so hopefully we can point one of the speakers over that way, and, and yeah. hopefully you can pick it up. That'll be about the best we could do, but and hopefully someone will record it and then repost it or something. Well, they've got to have sound before they can repost it, so... No, 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 not record it on the cameras, but just record it, like, with a phone or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you mean, like, somebody here yeah. get organized. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I'm pushing you luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, it's going to be a great day tomorrow. Great day. And um, yeah, you really you have to go down and look. It looks great down there. Good. Okay, just tell me. Have to go down and put the foolish chickens away, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's it. It's too nice a day. Everybody's outside, so thank you, everyone. Have a okay. Good night. Have a good weekend. Think of Annie tomorrow. Peace. Right. Thanks, and we'll be around. Bye.